What's good? What's good? What's good, y'all? All right, so I want to talk about this. Uh, I guess it's Kanye and Tim Pool interview, right? <sighs> I know there's probably hundreds of videos out there, so I'm gonna try to make this quick, short, and sweet. I want to pull up the clip that he posted on his Twitter because I ain't feel like like pulling up the whole in the whole interaction. I'm just pull up this quick clip and show you guys. What happened to give you guys my opinion on the whole ordeal, right? Because this is just an ongoing thing for now. Like, it's just an ongoing thing. Now let's pull this up real quick. Been extremely unfair to you. I think. Who is they though? We can't say who they is, can we? Press. I'm not using the. I don't, I don't use the word as the, as the way I guess you, you guys use. I'm, I'm talking. It is about them it. though, isn't it? I mean, because <laughs> no. it, it, because when you think <laughs> about not. it, consider it. In 2018. What do you mean it's not? It, what What do I mean? Like, uh, uh, okay, so how about? Are you leaving? Are you afraid of the press? He's gone. I'll say it right now. Um, you guys, I, I, you guys want to bring that stuff up, and then I think we're not going to have a, not gonna have like, a conversation. Like have the discussion. Like you, you think Be Ye's going to come in here and say, "Here's my pain, here's my suffering." I'm going to say, "I hear you," and then he's going to say, "And it was Jewish people," and I'm going to be like, "Okay, but don't you consider?" It's like, I'm not going to do this. I, I, I refuse. Go, uh... Basically, Tim Pool did not want to say the word Jewish, and Kanye said, "Why can't you say it?" And he didn't say it, then Kanye walks off, right? We gotta understand a couple of things. One, Tim Pool is on YouTube. So you saw what happened with Drink Champs. You think Tim Pool is going to risk his channel being suspended for a week, what have you, just because Kanye wanna go another rant. And gotta be his his content gotta be taken down. You think he's gonna risk risk that? Or for what? Just as just as for Kanye said the same thing he'd been saying on every other interview. You see what I'm saying? Like he gotta say he's saying the same thing. He's saying this and the third. I this got done to me, this got done to me, this got done to me. These are the people who did it. He's saying it everywhere he goes. So Tim Poole is like, all right, we on YouTube. You say this already on Drink Champs. They took Drink Champs down. You walked out of other interviews. Then after that, watching a little bit of the clip, I heard the interview this morning when I was uh, coming home from the gym. He says, <laughs> the reason why Kanye left, Kanye texted him back or text somebody who's working on the show back. And they said the reason why Kanye left is because you don't believe my truth. And that's what they said on the show. I went on Kanye's Twitter page to see if he said anything about that. He didn't. So from right now, me recording this video, I'm going to go off of what they said that he said. You don't believe my truth, so I have to leave. This man is talking about running for president of the United States, and he wants people to believe his truth, or he can't even stay in the same room as them. What is the end game with this now? Like, what is the end game? So you got Kanye was running around with, what is this guy, Nick Fuentes, and, and running around with, um what's the other man name, um, Milo. Two more people that's using him because I don't know how he got attached with these people. And now he's in an interview and he's saying that you can't, you don't believe my truth. I have to leave you and you want to run for president. And Kanye do have a difficult time explaining things because Kanye West said he thinks differently. He says he always had, I, I heard the interview. He said in an interview. I have seven answers to the same question. So I just pick which answer is right for the moment. So sometimes you might not follow what he's saying. You know, I always thought Kanye had an interest in mind, especially when he said that he um he drew a beat. I never forget that on MTV Cribs, he was at his mom's house. He saw a beat that he drew and he explained it. And I was like, yo, this dude is on another level with his mind. Like he's really that talent, like he's really that gifted with his mind when it comes to different type of things. But sometimes when people are like that, it's hard for them to get out their thoughts. You see what I'm saying? I mean, you say the same thing time and time again. Everybody gets it. Everybody understands the same message. Why would Tim Pool risk his YouTube page, his his main source of income, to lose a main source of income for a week or more for you to say the same thing you already said? You know what I'm saying? Why would he risk that? Why would he not push back at that? And he says something that's interesting. You saying that is all Jewish people that's holding you back. That is too much of a general statement. And another person I think Kanye was on an interview with was uh 
But Max Freeman, he said, why don't you say the individual's name? Why don't you say these people's name instead of generalizing a whole group of people? Because if say Tim Poole go ahead and say, oh my God, all black people do this and say one black person punch him in the face and he said all black people are violent, we'd be having a fit. So I could see where he's going with that. You see what I'm saying? I could see where he's going with that. But if I was Tim Poole with the following that he has, I would have put this on Rumble, put this only on Twitter, put this for, uh, uh, I guess, exclusive for like, fan, like on his website, something like that, doing something exclusive where it's behind a paywall so you guys are hear this interview. So it could be more uncensored instead of what this is. Because Kanye West, this is probably the biggest interview that you had from what I understand what people are saying. It's the biggest, the biggest guest you ever had on your platform. And you wanted to be greedy and have it on YouTube and try to get the ad revenue and ad money, but you also wanted to censor somebody like Kanye West. It doesn't work like that. Have it on Rumble, have it somewhere where people can find it, where people can find it where it won't be censored and people can take clips from it. Because people out there reposting the Kanye West Drake Champs interview and they're getting strikes. So what you, you think this man gonna risk his you? Nah, it, it's the same old thing, man. I'm just, I'm over it. I'm definitely over it, y'all. I mean, I think what happened to him is messed up, but how could you really get behind all this? Somebody who can't even sit somewhere in a room with somebody and say that you don't believe my truth, I'm leaving. I mean, you might be seeing this video, you don't believe my truth, but I, I'm pretty sure you and I can sit in the same room and have a discussion about it. You know what I'm saying? And if you leave about it, then I'm like, all right, you left, whatever, I won. But those are my thoughts, man. Let me know how you feel about this in the comments, man. I know you guys probably seen a thousand of these videos, but just one more, just one more. Just watch this one last one. All right, man, I appreciate y'all. All right, till next time, peace. Real Rap Ron is signing off. All right, later.